No, Bernard, what it is. Jim Riley, Joe Zillig, Harry Race, Tom Serson, Trevor Rieger, Harry Race, Bernard, The Chance, DJ Dade, Perlita Quinn Juan, Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, Doug King, 1961, Oyster Cracker Man, Bitted Bath for Blue Boy Boxes, GPS Paso Robo, Rapist Night, Red Randy, Red Gordon and Ellery, Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, Elton Anderson, Don Wiley. It's not really a hard routine to figure out with you, Bernard. You run the same cycle of abuse every 30 to 60 years on people who either are the same family members or look the same. You don't know how to win a war, Bernard, but yet you claim credit for winning wars and battles while everybody else actually does the work for you. You ran all of our stuff out so we have to live in a shit hell because you don't know what you're doing and you're a thief and a liar and a pedophile, Bernard. Then you guys run to one corner either here in San Diego or in Texas or in Florida or New York and then run back and forth between the borders and then you hold people hostage and then you run a shitty theme like All American or the country and western hand-me-down story so Ellery can lie about murder with the Negroes. And then you toy with the Colts which is another thing that's dangerous and stupid. Jonestown, Branch, Davidians, or Haven's Gate. Probably the Haven's Gate because you guys like the rainbow shit and being rainbow candy faggots. Cowards. Then you guys do the ghetto life Negro thing with the prisons. That's not good because you split it in four. Then the prisons are hardly organized. Then you guys do the street gang thing, Bernard. What it is, Bernard, is did you and Perlita and Dave and Robo Knight and, and the, the rapist clan there of racists don't know how to win wars because you're pussies, Bernard. You're dorks and nerds. You don't know how to win a fucking war, but you want to take credit for everybody else that fights the war for you and has the battle damage. You want to take credit for that win. It's just like the risk game. Bernard, you weren't really there to play the risk game, but you take credit for winning it. Stan loses the hearts game, throws a temper tantrum, but yeah, he's accredited to win because he's a spoiled candy fag with you and you guys like to sleep faggatory together. See, my dad and I, when we played the risk game, when we, we won, there was no argument. We just put the game away. We didn't throw a fit at each other. But you guys weren't there when we were playing the risk game. But yet you play a favoritism for the three white boys and see what the all-white, all-American thing is doing to you, Bernard? Making you look like a dumb motherfucker. Because you've ran this three or four times in a row and you destroyed my family and the other family stuff where they were setting it in where we don't have to, nobody had to live like this. And when it's about to be completed, we have to deal with the bit to poop. GPS, Paso Robo, Rapist, Lying, Faggot Knight, who's a thief, Dunn, Wiley, and Elton and all them because they don't know how to win a battle that was set in out here to prevent something from happening. But Bernardo LaFag of La Chance and Harry and all them want to, you know, with the hillbilly squads and Red Randy, Petco Park, and Perlita Pepsi Center, everything paid. And the Red Al Cortez and it's just a bunch of excuses about how a bunch of dipshits ruined fucking everything and didn't fuck, don't know how to win a war. So I let you, Bernard, let the oppressor win and let you live your mad, scientist, delusional fucking fantasy of fucking dumb. Well, like I said, the real heroes, your police officers and firefighters and the military, the Lockheeds, IHS, all that stuff who actually want to work together and learn about this, they get to make their new superpower base with their families and friends and they don't have to tell you where it's at, Bernard. But then they acquire everything as well and then they get to protest and point out where you guys, you know, about how stupid your plan is, Bernard. And they can, you can still go in between your corners and pretend and have your cycle, but you're nice and set up now where you don't need another body and you can sit there and battle a cone and set, send your fags there and your spies and pretend with Perlita and all this shit. And that's what you'll get. You won't need a body to torture anymore, Bernard. It solves a big problem. And then it takes the stress away from the police officers and the military and all those who have to deal with your stupid ass fucking shit. Then they'll know you're a fucking coward, Bernard. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Bernard, your success with your team is based upon the failure of the one or the many. You can never be a success if you always destroy your one. And since you don't want to listen to other cultures who have a different outtake of what gave you guys that gift and you guys destroyed it by always destroying your one, and they don't, like the Asians or the Israelis or you know the Jews, the Russians or whoever, the French, 
Spain or whoever that you guys try to go to and try to tell them how to live their lives. So as the Westerner, of the, as they fled from England, the Westerner came through and told the Indians and everybody how to live their lives and were completely wrong. And then when they get back and all and everything's nice set up and they find out through atheism and their science supposedly that they're wrong, they run back the other way into the other nations and start telling them what to fucking do again, huh? How could you ever be right with that kind of philosophy ideal, Hitler boy, Bernard, see where Hitler failed maybe? Stalin them out, or maybe they would have been a success, which is the reality that Ra Robo Rapist Knight and, and and Joe and the American and Tiller are trying to do with the communist faction of the uh, Jonestowns and Negroes. It's not hard. You know why the Negroes are doing it? Because they know their failures at fucking war. Because they followed a failure cult leader. How can you be a success? The problem is that you got, Bernard, is that your math is fucking wrong and your science is wrong. And quite possibly religion. So, you know, Bernard, whatever. You live a grand delusional fantasy because you killed all the people who had a different outtake. You guys destroyed your leader who's trying to pull you out of the hillbilly repeater. And then you guys throw him back in, make him live a miserable life, drag him into the fights down there because you guys want to protect a rapist pedophile fag who's a thief and a liar. And he runs his whole shitty story running back and forth like the fucking coward, spoiled piece of shit he always has been. So you can have it, Bernard, and you can yelp and have your broadcast of shit. I don't even care how you make the fucking thing. I just know you're one of the dumbest shits to ever fucking been born, dude. And now the world and all the people who have had to deal with your military strategy and your mouth and your shit and who fucked who, you get that whole fucking lot the Harry and all them you guys have been running with. You get that whole burden and problem, dude. And you got to live with that as your supposed military success. Because you've based it, by, like my parents' philosophy, all based upon the failure of a one. And then you and then you sit there and on purpose depress people, get them to commit suicide, play candy fag, go run it back and forth. You know what the problem is? Joe has always been the problem because he's truck driver faggot trash. And that's what he's always going to be. Because he was a fucking idiot with the group of you all to fuck with that shit down there and screw it up and then steal it and swap it around, Bernard. So like I said, the military and them who already know how to do that stuff get a special bonus with the police officers because they probably already know how to do it. And now they can secretly again, like the, yeah, how Joe denies how he killed me and took our stuff, they actually get to rebuild it while you guys have a piece of shit, Bernard. And do it nicely in the right way in a place where it's safe and protected and slowly do stuff there you know the way they originally want it they get the gift like three four hundred times they get to prove how big of a military failure bernard the chance and perlita and joe and harry and your team there bernard generational military failure for as long as they want and then they get to learn from those mistakes slowly pull their children out of the coma to make them a success where most of you will never know it. And they actually get to learn how older cultures successfully did it while Bernard Lachance runs around professing that he's some great leader with his YouTube that he stole and devices of technology all ghetto style fast and furious like while he lies to other nations with the Robo Rapist Knight and whoever else in the BB4 about how great they are. So like I said Bernard the best victory for me is to know that hey my sacrifice you're running around lying to everybody about how to do something, cowboy hillbilly. The, inter the, the cowboys and the Indians made the internet wrong. So everything you teach, Bernard, for your supposed victory, your false claim, your lie to the earth with Perlita and all them and your broadcast of shit with the carnies is all fail because I you made me fail. Because you based your whole thing on torture, the three-time torture box of Joe. How would you have known how to do that if it didn't happen, Bernard? That means he raped and killed and stole. That's why the shit don't work out here. That's probably why they brought me back. To tell you how fucking dumb the group of you and the hillbilly squads and what Red Randy and that group do. Because they've always been running in the wrong direction based upon ignorant information. And some of them are educated.
So if you want to run that way, professing that's how to run the internet all hacked up and stupid and rewinding like a bunch of delusional nutters to try to get back into something that was never you guys' is in the fucking first place, go right ahead. They won't let you guys do it because you guys aren't healthy enough, not stable enough, and you're not your guys' premise of ideal won't work. It's obvious that you guys tried to hack it to get back into it, Bernard. But how do you do that when your guys' success is based on the failure of the one? Get it? You guys are basing it off the murder of the man. I mean, the very one that you guys jacked it all from and you're fucking torturing as you as we speak, Bernard. How fucking dumb are you people? How You'll never be a success, Bernard. You're a military fraud. Because you're not using your brain. And so, like I said, the Navy and the Navy SEALs and the fighter pilots, all those people who train and go to school, the colleges, the universities get to use this to become a success, Bernard, and secretly hide and gain that gift back which you people stole. And they get to move the whole the drama of the Indian story out, all that crap you guys use, the carny, the mutilations, all that stupid ass shit fucking Joe been doing for no fucking reason with Pickin Street, Jamaica Street, Harry and all them to prove a fucking point about some loser that don't want to take responsibility for his shit. That's the whole point of military. If you're going to make me take responsibility and fess up, Bernard, guess what? Your whole fucking team does. But Joe and them just don't seem to think they fucking have to, destroying the whole world and the earth over it. So if he wants to be Satan, they let him. But he doesn't even know anything about the play. He doesn't do anything. He just goes by pictures and started fucking mutilating and abusing girls, boys. If it isn't the blue boxes that we used, and you guys stack it all up, the more and more you steal and fail, you can have it, Bernard. But like I said, those that it really rightfully belong to, those that you guys have victimized here, Colorado, around the whole nation and the world, if they team up and do it right, the Starbuckses and the girls are starting to figure it out and work together, you won't beat them, Bernard. Because I told them the truth about Heather and the teacher and me, which has always been the truth, and that's why Harry and them and Joe got in the middle of it, because of jealous candy fag. And so that's where you will always fail, Robo Whispering Knight. You guys' obsession over your failure and that setting that destroyed everybody's shit. Because Joe Zillig just couldn't handle a marriage and a, and a kid loving a, a, a girl that much. He destroyed all of it. Just so he could be a faggot bitted bat for to sleep in the bed of children like the stupid fuck he is. So if you're going to be that faggot of a pedophile, Joe and Harry and Bernard, and that carny stupid ghetto for that long, you deserve to get smacked down by every single human being on the face of the earth.